Hey, it's me, Mr. Rika. What's up? No, I'm talking to you. How are you doing? I can see you. Hello. I'm just kidding. I'm making a video. It's just a recording. Don't you worry. I can't see you. Or can I? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to help you get started with scene one. And so I'm going to help explain what you need to do. Then what you're going to do is pause the video, do stuff with your group, talk about it, write things down, brainstorm, look at your video clips, and then you'll resume the video when you're ready. And what you'll do then is kind of check your answers off of how I explain it. So this is to help you make it a little easier. All right, so first what you're gonna look at um, over here, do you see where it says scooter one? So where it says scooter one, it tells you the directions on how you were supposed to film that scene. And then if you look down here, it says describe the motion. So first what you're gonna do is describe the motion of the scooter compared to the ground. So you remember when you were in your uh, scooter, you had your camera and you were looking down at the ground. So what you'll do is you'll watch that video clip and then you're going to come back and describe how that motion looked compared to the ground. Then you're going to draw an arrow. So we want to do a visual representation to sort of give you um, kind of another way to think about the data. Then you're going to look over here where it says tree. And you're going to do the same thing. The tree was this time looking at the scooter, going past it, and you took a video clip of that. So watch that video clip and then describe the motion of scooter one compared to the tree. And then draw an arrow that shows um, that motion. Finally, what you're going to do then are answer these two questions after you've already looked at the evidence. So you should pause the video now. I'll make a cool face. And once uh, you pause it and you do all your work, then resume the video and you can come back and check out the answers that I've given to see how you did. Okay, here's my pause face. Did you pause it? Good, all right, you're back. So we're gonna go through the answers now. Okay, so let's describe, whoops, the motion of scooter one compared to the ground. So as you looked at that scooter uh, video, you should have seen just feet moving in the ground. Now, if you didn't know anything else at all, you'd see that there was some sort of motion. So scooter one was moving. Now the next question kind of to ask yourself is, was it moving the same direction or a different direction? And it should have been moving in the opposite direction. So moving in the opposite direction. So you can see that though because your feet are moving one way and the ground's going the other. Think of it almost like a treadmill or conveyor belt. If you just looked at the video clip, you kind of wouldn't know if the ground was moving and it was like a conveyor belt and your feet were moving on it, or if you were just pulling yourself along the ground like you were. So it kind of shows that there's some sort of motion. Now we have other evidence to suggest that it was you moving along the ground, which gets to the next part. Um, but before they do that, we have to make our arrows. So this would be the scooter and that would be the ground because you're going in opposite directions. That gives you kind of a quick visual to interpret the data. So now let's look at the tree. So when you had the tree, you were taking video of the scooter moving across. So you could say that the scooter was moving based on your data. Scooter was moving. Now how you describe this is going to sort of depend on your data. Either it was moving left or right depending on how you filmed it and set up that action shot. So it's gonna depend on whatever your data was. So we have an arrow going to the right or to the left, just depending on your data. Now that's gonna get us to, whoops, these questions. Was the scooter's motion the same? Um, or was it different when you compare the motion of the scooter to the ground or the tree? Okay, so you should have already answered these. If you didn't, I'll give you another pause phase. All right, so now you're back or you didn't leave, and you're gonna answer these questions. So, is the scooter seen the same or different? Well, it should have been seen differently. And what is the evidence for that? So in science, we always have to back up what we're talking about with evidence. So what evidence? Well, you could have written something about how when you looked at the ground, it was going opposite or um, parallel but different direction. But when you looked at the tree, it was going in a left or right direction. So if it were me, I'd write something down like the tree saw the scooter going left or right, left or right, but along the ground it was going opposite the motion of the ground. So that's kind of your first evidence. 
first evidence that there's something different happening here. And hopefully, as we continue, you're going to look for trends, because that's what science is about, getting evidence and looking for patterns and seeing if that kind of holds up through nature. All right, it is time to move on to scene two.